In this video, I'm going to be helping you get the highest score possible on the Dream Realm boss, Crank King Croker. That's right. And this is an AFK Journey. It's a brand new free-to-play role-playing game that's coming out on mobile at the end of March. Use the link down below to pre-register if you have not already. And let's jump into this thing so that when this thing launches, you know how to beat all of these Dream Realm bosses. So I've made a video on the Yeti, the Skyclops, and now we're doing King Croker. So if you need help with those other Dream Realm bosses, look in this playlist and there's going to be a video on every single one of them. And today it's going to be King Croker. Now, last time we were doing this with Skyclops, we found out some pretty exciting stuff. Um, we were really optimizing out our team. So let me see if I, I've got my notes here. We're going to use, um, we're going to use Thorin. I know we were heavy on Graveborn and let's go ahead and start with Solar Poem. Although we did find that the Astral Tome, um, might give us higher damage. So that's definitely one of the tests that we're going to run. So let's get Thorin up here. I know we're going to do Laika right behind him. Um, then we're going to use Dion L. I've got Dion L back here. They're, uh, they're ranged and Cecia is a must and then not Odie, um, but Sylvania uh, of all people is who we're going to throw in there. All right. I believe that this is my group. Let's go ahead and give it a spin and get a baseline. See how much damage we can do with this crew. I've been trying this out in other game modes, too. Um, I was trying this in the um, Alliance Guild War um, game mode today, and it was working pretty well. It does a lot of damage just in general. I was trying it out in Arena a little bit. It's it's a good crew. It's a good crew of characters. does a lot of damage really fast. All right, we're 50 seconds in, and we've already hit 14 million. This is insane. Now, we are losing some characters. We did lose Thorin. We're having a survivability problem. Maybe we need to get a healer in here. I don't know. We lost Dion L. But we're up to 18 million. That's crazy. I, I think we're going to want that focus damage. I think the Solar Poem is going to be bigger here. The um, Astral Tome, we had more of like a mob control problem. All right, so that's 19.1. 19.1 million. Now that is on par with what we had on the last boss. Let's see if we can optimize this. The, the place to be is to get up here to 20 million. That's going to get me some additional rewards too. But 19.1 is a pretty good place to start. Now what are we going to do here to optimize this? We've got our crew in here. We were, we were just dying a little bit. I'm going to pull Thorin. I'm going to pull Thorin and I'm going to get Haywin in here to provide some healing, try to keep us alive. Let's go ahead and just make that little substitution and see if that helps us stay alive so we can do more damage. I think she's going to up their DPS as well, their attack speed. Yeah, she does an attack speed buff on everybody who is ranged. Um, or at least everybody around her who is everybody that's ranged and most of this is ranged damage We only have one character going up close and that's Sylvania who is dead So I'm thinking I want to replace Sylvania with another ranged attacker actually That's what I'm thinking right now. Let's see if we can stay alive though you, you can't do as much damage if you're dead. That's my whole thinking here and we're starting to lose characters Maybe a tank is better than Sylvania. It's like we're giving up so much DPS then though. I don't know. Oh wow. Wow. We're getting ripped up. This isn't working right. We definitely need a tank. You know what? I'm thinking instead of Haywin. I'm thinking about changing a couple things, which I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but that's what I'm thinking. Wow, we got beat up. You know another thing we could do is we could go back to the original. We could use a healing artifact. And see if that keeps us alive. Because we weren't really dying that much. It was a good score. Alright, you know what? I don't really test this very often, but let's test this. Alright, let's get Thorin back up front. Let's get our tank back up front. 
Um, let's use this party. This is the one that did the most damage. And let's bring in the Summer Harp. This heals. Maybe the Summer Harp can provide us with enough healing to kind of keep the group alive. I don't know. Let's try Summer Harp. It's kind of goofball. I don't really know if this is going to get us the damage that we're looking for. It's going to cut down how much damage we're doing. But if it can keep us alive, then we can do more damage overall. The number to beat is 19.1. 19.1. And I don't want to see anybody die. I've got another thought if this doesn't work. I have another iteration. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep iterating. We lost Thorin. So the Summer Harp isn't keeping us alive. See, I think we need a different tank. He seems to cut right through Thorin. We lost Sylvania too. I don't like that. I think Thorin and Sylvania got to go. We're doing better though. This is better than the last one. We're getting up to 17 million. So there's something to this. This wasn't horrible. And we are staying alive better. We're up to 18 million. All right, that did 18.1. All right, it's definitely an issue with characters dying. That's what we kind of need to solve here, is we need to have the character stop dying. All right, let's go back up to Solar Poem for the damage. And let's drop Sylvania. And let's get in uh, a different tank. Let's get in Lucius, because he does like some healing too. Just a, I, just, I don't need a lot of healing. I think I just need a little bit. And I feel like Odie is going to be who I need here. Let me bring in Odie into the back line. He's very good for DPS. And let's give this a shot. So we're going to keep that tank. He's hopefully going to heal himself. Because we're missing a healer. Now, the other thing I can do is I can drop Odie. I can put in Haywin. But then I feel like we've given up way too much DPS. But I don't know. We can give it a shot. That's a, that's a lot of damage happening. But we lost Lucius. We just lost our tank. You know what? Let's give up Lucius and put in Haywin. And see if maybe the healer can keep... Maybe it's not so much a tank we need. Maybe it's just healing that we need. And we've lost Laika. Yeah, this isn't working out. It might just end up being Thorin, Sylvania, Dionel, um, Cecia, and Laika. That is like just the best team for this. For all bosses. I don't know if it gets better than that. We can go back and we can try the Astral Tome and see if that's just a higher damage artifact as well. I mean, it's possible. But all right, we got we got six more tries here. I, I want to keep trying radical stuff before I start trying really minimal stuff. Like that's really minimal, just switching the artifacts around. So what was I saying here? Get rid of, uh, get rid of our tank and bring in a healer. All right, there we go. So it's all healer. Nobody's going to go up close to him. And I think maybe that'll be better. I don't know. Let's find out. So we're keeping the attack speed up. And hopefully we're going to keep the health up now. I could drop in the Summer Harp on this crew just to provide like extra healing. Though Haywin should really be providing all the healing that we need. I just want to keep everybody alive the entire 70 seconds that's the goal here and i already lost Leica. so i absolutely lost Leica. i cannot keep everybody alive no matter what i'm doing and haywin's dead like this isn't working out i can try with a summer heart we're still doing a lot of damage and if Leica was still alive We'd probably beat our total. You know, ascension levels would definitely help. Wow. And hey, CC made it to the end. We did 15.8. All right, I want to try it with the Summer Heart. Just for extra healing. Let me give it one more shot. Let's try the Summer Heart. Maybe with like the double double support on healing maybe we can 
kind of beat the damage that he's outputting. Because he's just so damaging. I feel like he's one-shotting people, though. But I don't know. Maybe with two healers, basically, we'll be able to keep everybody healthy. Let's find out. Lots of damage coming his way. I got 60 seconds left. No, like is dead. The problem is just one-shotting people. You need to throw a tank up there. You need a really big tank up there. A tank that I don't have. <laughs> Quite honestly, we need things that I don't have. All right, I, I think we got to go back to the original team. And just mess around with artifacts because I can't, I can't keep these guys alive. We're trying. Now we're down to two. I think we're going to have a worse run this time around. We have Diano. We got Cecia. They're alive. I think they're going to make... I mean, it's one more character making it to the end than last time. He just does so much damage. All right. Let's go back to the team where we got our high score. We got four more attempts here, but we're not really getting anything higher. Okay, Diano's in, they're in. We're going to go back to Thorin and back to Sylvania. And now we're going to try Astral Tome. After all, this did get us a higher damage last time. I thought it was due to what, uh, like, specifically what Cy Cyclops does. But who knows? Maybe this is just a higher damage output. I have no idea. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Is the Astral Tome better than the Solar Poem on all of the bosses? For all I know, it is. For all I know, the DPS on this is just going to be higher. I have no idea. Maybe it gives us some extra defense as well. I don't know. You know, we could try the defensive artifact as well. We do have a defensive artifact, and maybe that can kind of stop these one-shots from happening. I feel Thorin is really good here, though, as a damage sponge to kind of protect everybody else. Deanna, uh, Thorin's dead. The damage is going up, though. We're up to 17. We're up to 18 million. We're approaching our high score. We have 30 seconds left. Oh, my God. We, we broke it again. It's the, it's the Astral Tome, dude. The Astral Tome. We, we broke in 20 million. Holy crap. Astral Tome is good. Why are you so good, Astral Tome? 21.2. Well, there it is. Astral Tome, once again. I don't know if we're going to do better than that. I don't know if it's possible to do better. I would need higher ascension levels, I think. I think that's it, guys. I think that's all there is to it. Laika does die first. Okay. So I can pull Laika and I can put in Valen. Just because he's like a more ascended character, maybe he'll live longer. I can try that, but I think that this is it. Astral Tome seems to be just massively more powerful than anything else you can do when you're trying just to do mega damage. It seems like Astral Tome is just the place to be. Early on, it was my favorite. And I think it's back. Astral Tome is back, baby. Uh, Valen's living better than Sylvania. I don't know if he's putting out as much damage. But he's definitely living better. Uh, Thorin's dead. Thorin usually dies. I don't think we can do without him. I don't, I think we gave, oh wait, I kept Sylvania. Oh, I put out, uh, I kept Sylvania. I, I dropped Laika. And we are up to 17 million damage. It seems like Laika was doing a lot more damage than Valen. Which is, I didn't expect that. Yeah, 17.3. Wow, Laika makes that much of a difference? That's wild. I would not have thought Laika would do so much better. But there you have it. Okay, so Laika, we're bringing her back in. What can I do? What can I do to keep her alive? I don't know if there's anything I can do to keep her alive. She's pretty ascended. I mean, I think that's it. This is the team, guys. This is it. This is the whole team. There's nothing better than this that I know of. I, I don't think it's worth running again. I think you got it. Um, there it is. There it is. King Croker. Um, 
This is the team. Use this. Use Astral Tome. Good luck to you. Or something like this. You know, you want a tank. You want someone with... You want a characters with high DPS. These characters are all very high damage per second characters. And uh, that's what it is. If you want to know how to beat the other bosses, it's in this playlist. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you use the link down below and pre-register for AFK Journey so you can play it as soon as it comes out. And Grave Diggers, keep digging. Stop what you're doing, baby, and follow Mr. Hargrave from Parts Unknown, if you will, baby. I see the demon's face. Mark, you and one half of party party, say what up to the Grave Diggers and keep doing your thing. Watch another video or be pissed.